All right. Hello, everybody. Thank you for joining us. We are so pleased to have Helena, Tom, and Anthony Epp, who are the writers, directors, and producers of the film 13 Miles. Welcome, you guys. Thanks for having us. Hello, everybody. <laughs> uh, so what inspired you to, to write this film and then turn it, you know, write the screenplay and then turn it into a film? Oh, go ahead. Do you want me to do that yeah. one? Oh, wow. <laughs> um, okay. There's a long version of this. There's and then, a long and a short and version. The, then there's the, uh, I'll try to do the, the two minute version of that. We, um, w uh, I had uh, been, the, the movie's obviously a traff. It's a movie about triathlons. You might get cat. a visit from our cat every <laughs> Sorry. once in a while. That's okay. Um, the movie is a movie about uh, triathletes. And um, I had been a triathlete um, uh, doing Ironman races um, before this uh, occurred. And we were visiting in the Ironman in Penticton, British Columbia one year, and we uh, volunteered at the race. Mm -hmm. And we decided we were watch, watch, watching the race and we were kind of going, looking, watching all the racers and stuff like that. And both of us, I, we were both in the, in the, or I was in the film industry at the time. I don't think you were at the time. I don't think I was, no. And, uh, and I said, I'd love to write a story about the, about triathletes. <laughs> and Helena had an idea about writing a story right. about a, a, was it a baker or a, it, yeah, it had to do with like bakery, like a baker. bakeries. So we yeah. merged those two, and if you've watched the movie, there's a bakery and a triathlon in it. Yep. And uh, we decided to, and and from that, we we uh, we we came up with the idea for a story about two about uh, um, uh, two people deciding to train for a triathlon. One person actually as a professional triathlete, and the other as a as a newbie to the sport of triathlon, or a new a new competitor to the sport of triathlon. And uh, so, yeah, it, 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 we, we got inspired to write the script. And um, I yeah. mean, the history of that is that we wrote it all. We, were, we had just started dating at the time. So we wrote a, we wrote a screenplay together as a, as a couple. It's like our little Ikea test. And then uh, <laughs> finished, finished it just before we got married. Finished the first version of the script just before we got married. And then, uh, and then went from there. Yeah. Well, the rest is history, as they say. So what was the time from concept to finish of the film? To today? <laughs> God. today. Um, well, the, the script was finished a month before we walked down the aisle. Yeah. So that was like 2013. Yeah. And then we oh. went to camera 20s. At, I guess at the summer of 2016, unofficially, we went to camera. But then official production wise, um, it was about march i think it was february or march of 2017 2017 we, we kind of started filming the majority of it and then we finished filming in 2018 yeah um i think to, we the first time when we first came up with the idea it was 2011 wow. 2011 was yeah. when we first came up with the idea when we were, yeah when we were first dating it's kind of in the first year or two of our <laughs> relationship perseverance i like that i know you never gave up I love it. Love it. No. <laughs> was, now, was it difficult to bring this script to life or you already had in your head when you were writing, like how you were going to film it? Well, it was, it was difficult. Like, I think like any making any movie, it's, it, it's not, there's no like easy path to making a film. And um, we had an idea, I think when we were writing it of how we were going to do it, if we wound up having, like no money at all. We mm -hmm. sort of were thinking we were going to go and just grab a camera and go out and, um, and, and we had sort of a semblance of an idea of how we were going to shoot it and film it. But then as we got further and further into the weeds of it, so to speak, we, uh, we uh, found some innovative ways and we actually wound up, you know, hook, uh, meeting up with some really talented crew and cast and so it got a little bit bigger than we hoped. And so we needed yeah. a little bit more money to make it happen. And and as people kind of discovered we were writing this script and wanting to film it, they they sort of kind of came. They like, you know, build it and they come kind of thing. So uh, yeah. we started talking about it. And then as people found out, they were wanting to be a part of it. So it stopped being just like a project for the two of us. It was more, it, it became a much bigger a much bigger production for sure. <laughs> now you have this huge family. Yes. That's right. Yes. Yes. It was, it was very, family, very fun. Good family to have. Yeah. 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 It's always good, good to have family. that support it's actually how we for years. 
Michelle wound up working, uh, one of uh, the people who's involved with Las Vegas, when, uh, she, she wound up coming and helping us with the film. Oh, very yeah. cool. Deb yeah, Michelle's generous that way. That's great. Now, how did you choose your cast? Did you have open auditions or did you have people in mind? We did have an open audition. So we did some auditions around town and um, it was it was fun, actually. It was fun um, meeting all these um, actors who brought their own um, their own identity into the characters. And so that was really that was quite an experience. That was one of my favorites, actually. Yeah, we didn't do go through. We, we did our auditions via, I think, Facebook, I think, even like yeah. we basically just put, our, <laughs> put a live oh, an open audition nice. via Facebook. Instagram, had, I think. Instagram I think. had people submit videos to really? it, uh, <laughs> auditions. Yeah, and then we did, um, and then we did a uh, callback, some callbacks, mm -hmm. and then did some screen tests with people. Mm -hmm. um, we actually cast the first. We cast the the first two characters, uh, um, Korup, who's played by Joe Vanna, who's the lead, and um, Jeff, who plays. Darcy. Uh, Darcy we, those two so that side of the story we cast them in 2016 and we didn't cast the rest of our cast until 2017 mm -hmm. so we started wow. filming with just the two of them with the idea that we would eventually find the cast for the other people wow wow now what, yeah. what kind of challenges did you guys face everybody has challenges some are smoother than others and some people uh, say, oh, I didn't really have a challenge at all. It went fine. Where were you guys at with that? Wow. Where do we start? <laughs> um, <laughs> we had a very small but tight crew. Um, basically, we had, you know, we always had one hair and makeup person. We had a sound person. We had a cam, like one or two camera people. But everything else, um, like costume, set deck, dit. Um, transportation, like that was all us. <laughs> um, so, yeah. So I think, I think it was, it was fun though. It made everything feel very, um, like er everybody kind of pitched in and helped. So it was very, it was very good for like the crew, the family, the film family, I guess. I mean, we were when very low budget. Yeah, well, when you have adversity like that, it really does help you come together a lot more. So you were yeah. talking about your budget. Go ahead. Well, it was very low budget, and so we we knew that we knew our limitations would be that we couldn't uh, we, for the scope of the movie because the movie takes place has so many locations and mm -hmm. so on. It, we knew it wasn't going to be that easy to keep a crew together for. Th we wound up actually filming, I think, for thirty filming days, and to keep everybody together like that and, on the budget that we had, we knew it was going to be difficult. So we actually had, we actually filmed the entire movie over the course of. I think from like the first day we started shooting till the last day we started, we finished filming it was almost two years. And so we would film on weekends or we had a couple yeah. of five day blocks where we got the cast and crew together and we would film five day chunks and so on. So we never had, so the biggest things we were worried about always was continuity and would we lose yeah. actors? Yeah. Would we lose things? Yeah. Yeah. Wow. But you made it work. It, it worked out. <laughs> yeah. Well, I mean, that's the thing. The team, the team really mm -hmm. made it work. Like the the, yeah. the cast were really uh, just they were super, accommodating, super supportive. Yeah. And just, you know, it's almost like sometimes they'd say, "Oh, I've got a, I got a job, or I got a, a another shoot." Um, you know, but I'll turn it down if you guys need me and blah blah blah. And we would say, "No, no, 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 no. Like, take your take your shoot. Oh. We'll reschedule." And mm -hmm. and uh, some sometimes we had to do that. We had situations where we. Because the movie movie was a triathlon movie, we were filming at some races, and sometimes the races um, uh, would would have new stipulations put on them, not necessarily the organizers, but just on um, on them from the the sort of the major triathlon governing bodies of so on to say like, no, you can't have anybody filming there or something like that. Oh, so we'd have to wow. re rethink which races you know we'd, we'd have a race yeah. plan that we were going to go film at and then we and then uh, we get a call that said no like you can't film before yeah something. you can't film here oh, and so oh, we have to wow. have to rethink everything and yeah. reschedule it and, and go from there so mm -hmm. so lo just a lot of you know adjusting and and adapting to whatever the circumstances gave us to make the movie yeah awesome so what did the both of you learn through this film by making this film mm -hmm. 
it Would takes you... a village, I think. Yeah. Mm-hmm. I learned nothing. No. <laughs> <laughs> and they, they just learned how to survive. <laughs> yeah. Well, I think that's important. The funny part is, I think from from beginning to end, it's so funny because we were, you know, we had just we were just doing our first feature film when we mm-hmm. first started filming, and by the time we finished filming the the movie. I think we had gotten better as directors. I hope, I mean, we can ask, ask our cast, but I really think that we got better at learning how to, how to communicate with our actors yeah. by the end. I felt like we were really just like, we, we, we got more in the zone as the film went on. So it's almost like those two years became a big learning process of how we, how to, how to make a movie. So the yeah. scenes that we shot in the first at, at the beginning are definitely uh, a lot, a lot, uh, a lot rougher, I think, than the ones that we filmed at the end of the movie, um, or when we when we filmed our last scenes of the film. So, just so, you know, you learn. I think you learn every day, and when you have the two years in between to film everything, you you learn a lot. Yeah, you do for sure. What what advice do you have to aspiring filmmakers, especially battling the two years to get this film, you know, going? I think, I think for me, um, it's just letting yourself know that not everything has to be perfect. You can schedule something and plan something and have, you know, even a plan B and a C, but you know, when a location says, no, we can't have you here. Or, um, if an actor says, oh, I got booked on, you know, this multi-million dollar film or something, you can't you know, you have to be able to pivot and learning to pivot was one of the biggest things. Like we're both AEs. We work as assistant directors. So planning was, you know, we, we had that, but learning to pivot, um, we also have that, but like on this big of a scale, like when you're pivoting a whole production because of, you know, a location dropping or whatever, that's, you know, it's a whole different thing. And also, Oddly enough, because it is a triathlon, it's learning, learning. It's, it's, it, there is a, it's a long, it's a long haul, right? Not, not burning right. all the fumes off the top because it, mm-hmm. I mean, it took us two years. <laughs> so it was your triathlon. It, it was. was. It, yeah. it really was. <laughs> I think, to, I think, I think I'd, I'd echo that and I'd add that um, if you, uh, I mean, we wrote a movie that we thought, we wrote a movie with the idea that we knew we wanted to make it. And we were going to make it. Um, and so I think just ha- just if I was someone who wanted to make my first movie, I would say like ma- like write a movie you you're go- you know you can make, but don't assume don't don't wait until you feel until you've got everything in place to make it. You can get started. You can start before you're ready, and um, which is counter to a lot of advice out there where where uh, you know you need to have the budget you need to have everything ready we were raising money as we were filming and we yeah. were you know we would stop wow. and pause and we'd film three days and then we'd have to go and work for two months to pay f- for the next three days so <laughs> yep. so i mean you don't and and there's there's a also there's a thousand different paths to finishing a film and uh, mm-hmm. you know, it's good to learn from people and it's good to learn from other people who, and how they've done it, but ultimately the journey that you have and the, and the challenge that you have to get there is going to be very unique for your own. I don't think you, I think if you ask any filmmaker about their first feature film, they will, they're all our stories are different. You yes. know, how we got there is different. Yep. So. Yeah. So where, uh, where can people learn more about the film 13 Miles? You want to? Oh, um, yeah. yeah. Well, we have a website. So that's um, 13milesmovie.com. And okay. you can sign up for our email list there. And that'll get you information on, you know, when you'll be able to watch it or how you can watch it. Um, you can also, uh, I guess, just that's. We're on Vimeo. We're uh, yeah, we're we're we have a we have our trailer on Vimeo, and you can also watch a screener on video awesome. Vimeo too. Um, okay. Yeah, lots of uh, but I would all, but definitely sign up for go to our website, sign up for our email list, and we'll give you information on like other places you might be able to see it once we know. And um, and I think uh, also you'll get to reach out to us, and you can ask us. Other questions all the about questions the you want. All the questions you want. <laughs> oh, I love it. Perfect. I love that. That accessibility. That's wonderful. 
Anything? I don't think so. I think we're good. Guys, thanks so much for your Thank time you tonight. We appreciate so it. Much. You Thank you very much for having us. Wealth of information, just that persistence, it pays off. Well, thank you guys very much for uh, hosting us. And thank uh, you, Helena and, and Anthony what? from uh, 13 Miles. Thank you. We appreciate it. Have thank a great night, guys. Much. Have a great night. You great too. Night. Bye. Bye bye.